Shri Suresh Prabhu, Honorable Minister of Commerce and Industry, promoters of all SME companies, investment bankers, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning and a warm welcome to all of you and thank you for coming for the celebration of the 100th SME IPO listing on NSE. It's always a pleasure to welcome an SME company to the NSE family. And this is a special occasion as the 100th SME company makes its debut on SME Emerge, on NSE Emerge. It gives us great pleasure in, welcome, in welcoming ANI Integrated Services to the NSE Emerge family. We at NSE have been focused on developing an ecosystem for the financial markets where the Indian corporates can chart their own growth stories and we wish to see ANI growing from strength to strength starting today as it begins a new phase in its evolution as a listed company. Congratulations again. <laughs> Listing on NSE Emerge will help the shareholders of ANI to unlock value in the company while also allowing the company the flexibility in accessing further capital. It is a feather in the cap of our SME platform to have achieved an important milestone of 100 SME listings. I wish to thank all the listed companies, merchant bankers, investors, and other market intermediaries for their support and involvement in developing the SME ecosystem. Our SME platform continues the NSE tradition of building a credible platform for emerging companies which would help them raise equity capital from informed investors who are looking for investing in promising companies. This platform has so far raised 1,400 plus crores and the market capitalization of these companies is more than 7,500 crores. At NSE, we are focused on making sure that quality SME companies are listed on the exchange. And it is important to distinguish uh, quantity from quality, which is reflected in what Mukesh just outlined in terms of the returns that our SME index has provided to investors. The emphasis on bringing quality SME companies to the public market is important because the trust of investors will only be established if quality companies list. To meet this objective, a stringent entry process has been put in place and appropriate scrutiny and disclosures in the DRHP process are in place. NSE has also commissioned third-party due diligence by reputed agencies like Crystal and Ikra. Another unique feature of NSE Emerge has been the focus on real economy manufacturing companies and more than 50% of the companies belong to sectors like pharma, textiles, chemicals, fertilizers, consumer goods, engineering products, etc. 15% are from the services sector, such as ANI, and 15% from the information technology sector. India is emerging as one of the leading economies in the world with strong macroeconomic and political stability. The SME segment is expected to play a significant role in the growth of the Indian economy and in providing jobs to uh, the vast landscape and aspirational needs of the Indian population. The SME sector is the backbone for growth businesses and the Make in India initiative. We are committed to facilitating the growth of SMEs by creating an enabling environment for entrepreneurs to tap the public markets to meet their funding needs. We have also actually got a debt platform in collaboration with SIDBI called RxIL which provides financing to MSMEs and SMEs against the credit profile of the corporate customer of the SME. So both from a debt perspective and an, e and an equity perspective, NSE is engaged in trying to facilitate access to capital to emerging companies. NSE has played a catalytic role in bringing merchant bankers to serve the unique requirements of the SME entrepreneurs. There are now several merchant bankers from various locations in the country who are focused exclusively on SME listings. SME entrepreneurs tend to rely heavily on their financial advisors like chartered accountants and we have been engaging with CAs from across the country to help them better understand the SME platform. It is imperative for India's growth that a part of the retail and institutional investments are channelized into the SME sector which will, which will help us achieve more inclusive development. NSE strong market leadership has facilitated investor outreach, particularly in the, in the institutional segment providing depth in the secondary markets. SMEs should work towards transparent and professional organizational structures and maintain high standards of governance so that the growth of SMEs is sustainable and they're able to raise capital from both equity investors and from banks. 
and NBFCs. We are certain that with sustainable business models and strong presence in their areas of operations, the SME companies will be able to create value for their shareholders. We are again extremely happy to host you all and th thank you once again for coming.